So in this part of the series, we're going to be doing something uh, a bit more interesting and we're going to be creating a profile page. Uh, now, what this profile page is going to do is it's going to allow you to output any information about a particular user. Um, and that includes your own information as well. So we're going to be adding a link just uh, here uh, called profile or something like that. Or we could make this a link. Uh, either way, doesn't really matter. Uh, and that will allow us to view our own user profile. Uh, now, at the moment, we don't actually have much information about the user that we can change. Uh, we don't have, you know, we, we don't have um, an uploaded image or like an avatar or, um, you know, things like that. Uh, um, we can still build this page and then if you want to go in uh, and add more fields to the database and you want the user to specify um, you know things like their uh, Facebook profile or something like that um, you can do that and then you can display that on their profile page so this will give you the jolt to go ahead and actually you know output this information so uh, let's go ahead and start uh, return to the home page uh, the first thing we need to do is build up the profile page. Uh, I'll explain a bit about how it's going to work. Uh, and then we're going to create the ability to uh, access different users profiles like this. Uh, so you can see that, um, you know, my username is Alex. That's how I log into the website. So if I want to access a profile, I just do forward slash whatever um, page we're on. So it will be www.yourwebsite.com or whatever the domain extension is forward slash and then the user's name uh, and this is called a vanity URL so I'll be referring to it uh, throughout the tutorial as a vanity URL so we'll be able to access users profiles like this which is extremely useful because uh, if you run a, a site and you say well yeah you know go access my profile it's it's something.com forward slash uh, Alex you know it's a lot easier anyway uh, let's go ahead and start um, start to build this up so the first thing I want to do uh, is I want to go ahead and create a, a page that's going to output this profile information uh, so funnily enough I'm going to call this profile.php uh, I'm going to open up a, a page like contact and just copy uh, this just so I can you know get the uh, the template there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this as profile.php okay so I'll close contact.php uh, get rid of this information here we don't need this now um, back to our page and we'll try and access profile.php and there we go we've got a blank page with our uh, our design on okay so now let's go ahead um, and start to write um, write the data out here uh, sorry write this page out now we need to um, be able to pass in a user name via get uh, and the way this is going to work is uh, let me just pull this down so we can write some code in here we're going to first of all check if this variable is set now I did mention that we were going to do a vanity URL so a forward slash and username this is the way we do it on the server side um, and then we use an HT access file to be uh, give the ability to pass through a username at the end of the URL so this page is going to be the page that's going to output the information about the user so me and other users as well so if is set dollar underscore get username if this is equal to true um, and empty dollar underscore get username is equal to false do something here that's essentially saying is this variable set so we're not just accessing profile.php on its own and the username mustn't be empty so we must be specifying a username um, then we do something in here otherwise uh, I'm going to redirect uh, actually no I don't have I don't have a function redirect so let's go ahead and check our uh, general functions um, no we don't have a redirect function so we'll just use a header so header location index.php and then exit so if I try and access profile.php without supplying any data then it will just redirect me otherwise well, what do I want to do well I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this um, this uh, this post uh, sorry this um, supplied username into a, a variable within this page so username and I'll just go ahead and echo this out for now just so we can demonstrate how this works because we're going to be building our HT access file which is going to allow us to create our vanity URL 
So we're checking that this has been posted, checking that something's actually been passed through, and then we are putting the uh, username that's supplied into this into this username variable and just outputting it for now. So here, um, let's go ahead and access profile.php, and then we need a question mark, and we're going to pass through this get variable. So it's username, remember, that corresponds to this value in here, and that's equal to Alex. And there we go. That's outputting whatever I type in up here. Okay. So um, that's all well and good, but now I need to be able to say, well, I actually want to access this page, but I want to specify the name like that. Now at the moment it says object not found because there's no folder called Alex. What we want to do is um, rewrite this uh, rule here. So I'm going to create a new file, and this is where our HT access comes in. I'm not going to uh, go through the HT access um, code or the HT access uh, rules and conditions too much because it's going to confuse and bore a lot of people. Uh, but I'll roughly go over it and how this works. So I'm just going to paste this in. Um, feel free to just pause the video and copy it down because I'm not going to be typing this out, it just takes too long. Um, but essentially, um, I'll, I'll try and explain what, what's going on here. So I'm going to save this inside my LR directory as .htaccess. It's important we don't put anything before this because we want it to save as an htaccess file. And this is how we save htaccess files. So if I press save, this is now in here .htaccess and you can see it's htaccess file. So make sure you're saving it as .htaccess and nothing else. Okay, so what's happening here is we're turning on the ability to rewrite this URL and, and pass through uh, different parameters, um, things like that. Um, here we're saying anything, anything after you know the forward slash in our um, in our uh, URL bar, we're going to take this value and we're going to append it here. So we've got dollar dollar sign one, which corresponds to this variable um, in LR two for uh, sorry LR forward slash profile.php which is the profile page that we've just created here and we're placing this forward slash value into this username get variable so take a minute to try and understand that uh, I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to try and access this like this so let's go ahead and get rid of this type in Alex here this value here will now be picked up by this rule it will be passed here uh, the same way that I've just demonstrated. So that's essentially it. That's that's probably the best explanation I can give. I'm going to hit enter, and there we go. The same thing's happened. So now I can type in Alex1, and it puts it there. So obviously, if you're using this in a root directory, so something.com forward slash Alex, you would just have it like that, and you would have profile.php in your root directory. So fiddle around with this, uh, and it's relatively straightforward to get the hang of. Okay, so now that we've done that, it's uh it's all all good so we can we can do a forward slash username and then display the information required so i'm going to get rid of ht access we don't need that get rid of general we don't need that okay so what we're going to do well um we have a lot of functions that we've already built uh, throughout the series that can deal with um processing information gathering information about a user and then out we can easily output this information and the way that we've structured this is going to make this page extremely easy to create. So there's not going to be much more code uh, on here than you already see. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open, um, first of all, my uh, init file within core, because we're going to need that to demonstrate, and also my functions, uh, my users functions file, because we've got some functions in here that are going to be useful to us. So what do we need to do here? Well, we have a function inside of users.php called, let's just find it, user data. And uh, user data allows us to pass in a user ID and retrieve information about that user. And we can pass in which fields that we want to gather from the user as well. And remember, we do this in our init.php to allow us to access our information anywhere on whatever page that we're on. And we've, we've already looked at that, so you, you should be familiar with that. Now we can use this same function, but pass in a user that you know isn't us uh, that we specify on this profile.php page. So at the moment we're specifying a username just because it looks nicer to the user. Otherwise we'd have to do something like forward slash fourteen, and you know that doesn't look great. We want to do it by username. Uh, so we need to get the user's ID to be able to pass through to this user data function. So. I'm going to say user underscore ID is equal to, 
Now we need to somehow find the user ID from the username. Luckily, we already created a function to deal with this, so we can reuse this user ID from username function. So let's go ahead and say user ID from username username and we pass through that so I'm going to echo out user ID uh, and that will just echo the current user ID here so that's 15 let's take a look in our database Alex has the user ID 15 so what we can now do is we can use this user ID and pass this into the user data function so I'm going to create a new variable called profile data I'll just move these along so we can keep everything nice and tidy and profile data is going to equal user data so the user data function we're going to pass in the user ID and we're also going to pass in the fields that we want to access here so the fields I want to access are first name and this is just an example this could be anything first name last name and email for example okay so now that we've done this um, we can go ahead and we can output whatever information we want about a user now, the only problem that we've got here is that we are not checking whether a user actually exists or not. We're not doing, you know, we're, you know, we're not doing this kind of check. So what we actually need to do is before we do any of this here, we need to check if the username is available. Because at the moment we can type in Alex, you know, that's fine. But um, what happens if a user doesn't exist? Uh, for example, Alex1 and we get this error here. Okay, that, that, that's from our uh, users, user underscore data function. So we need to uh, perform a check whether the user actually exists or not. So I'm going to say if something, then oops, if something, then do all of this. Um, now, how do we check if a user uh, actually exists? Well, we already have a function for that. We use that with our register page and our login page. So um, if we scroll up, we've got this user exists function here. We just pass in a username and it returns either true or false. So let's go ahead and uh, use this. So user exists username. If this equals um, true, then uh, we do everything inside of here. Uh, otherwise, we can just say something like um, and just escape that character there. Okay, so let's give this a whirl. Um, I'm going to type in Alex, nothing comes up because we're not doing anything. Type in Alex1, sorry, that user doesn't exist. So that's fair enough. Um, I'm going to leave it at this because there's probably a million ways you can make this look a lot nicer. Uh, you could redirect your user somewhere or, or whatever. Um, but for now, let's go back and focus on actually outputting some information. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out of PHP and back into PHP. Uh, now this is a little messy uh, because what we're doing is we're, we, we've got output here in the middle of our logic. So we've got all of our logic down here um, and our output is going to be stuck in the middle. Um, I'm going to leave it as it is, but I'm going to um, uh, not give you the challenge, but just um, warn you that this can be cleared up. So go back and look at how we've done error reporting before and uh, that's probably a good exercise to try and tidy up a file like this and it's not a very a not very big file at all. Um, either way it will work fine as it is. Okay so um, we've done that so let's go ahead now and uh, output some data. So I've broken out of PHP so I can use pure HTML here and in here I'm going to say X is uh, profile. Now X is just going to basically represent the user that we've passed through and I'm going to use the first name here. So I'm going to break into PHP and out and echo profile data first name. Perfect. So let's go ahead and refresh and it says Alex's profile. Now we also have um, Billy here as well. Um, so I can go in and I can look at Billy's profile and that echoes Billy's profile and then obviously by now you've you know probably understood that here we could say something like um, well I could just output an email address for example so I could echo profile data email uh, because we've requested that we want the data from the email field so now it gives us the email address and again we can go back to Alex here and 
do the same. So I'm not going to take this any further. I'm going to, um, you know, leave it at that because it's then easy, very, very easy to go ahead and just output any data that you are storing uh, about your user. Um, so now we'll just finish off with going and opening uh, our includes file opening up our logged in uh, menu widget and let's go ahead and add a link in for the user themselves to access their own profile. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste this underneath here and I'm going to say profile. Um, just in here um, we well, what do we do? We can say forward slash and then we want the username in here. So how do we access the user's name? Well, let's go to init.php. You can see that the user data variable holds the username. We've already dealt with this, so you should be familiar. Uh, so username here. So what we can do is we can say, and we're doing this here, by the way, user data first name, but obviously uh, it's the username that we're passing through. So I'm gonna say php echo user data username. So now I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Let's go back to the home page. Uh, we've got this profile link here. If you look at the bottom left hand corner of my browser, you can see localhost forward slash Alex. Uh, that's obviously not what we want. Um, we want, I think without the forward slash would be better. There we go. So we've got local bottom left hand corner again. We've got localhost forward slash LR forward slash Alex. So I click on that and it takes me to my profile. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That is how we would go ahead and output uh, profile contents. As you can see, we've done this extremely easily because we already have the majority of functions in place, well, all of the functions in this case, uh, to actually grab the data that we need. And the only difference that we've made is we've created this HT access file, uh, which has allowed us to rewrite the URL.